Hi, welcome to Buzz Builds Projects. I'm Buzz, and I like to build things. I also like tools, tech, and toys. Today we're going to be looking at a pretty cool piece of tech. Um, I have to let people into my studio sometimes, but I can't always be there. So the Geofino Smart Lock lets me let people have limited access or permanent access, however I want it to be, with a simple access code. Don't even have to give them a key. So, without further ado, let's check this thing out. All right, so let's see what we got in here in the Gion Fino Smart Lock. And we got our paperwork. Got our quick install instructions. I love the quick install instructions. I would, half the time I don't look at stuff like I'm supposed to when I start. I think I can figure it out. Then I go to this quick quick start <laughs> then I go to the full manual if it comes to that and so let's see what we got here actually hold this up so you can see what's inside the box it's very well packed it's just a couple items in here we've got our keypad and key for the exterior of the door and then the inside turn for the deadbolt actually it's upside down it goes like that where we put our batteries. I like that it is not fully electronic, that it also does have a keyed entryway. That's something I'm always paranoid if the batteries die and they get locked out and we have to take it apart. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay. Looks like we've got a couple more little boxes. Oh, this is the hardware to build with. I have to set this flat to get it out. So that's your hardware for various different kinds of doors. There are the keys. And then the last thing we have here is a ring. Now, depending on how the door itself at your house is set up or apartment or whatever you're gonna use it for, you might use this or you might not. It is not necessary, but it does make for a tighter fit if you want to have it in if that fits. If that is too small or too big, you just go straight through and connect it directly. Either way, it'll work. Now, another neat thing about this is you can set this up with the code. The generic code that it starts off with is, I think is one, two, three, four, five, six. But what's great about this is if you need to give somebody limited access, you can program a code in there that's only good for a little while. So they have a 24 hour use of that code or they have a two use, two hour use of that code. After that, the code goes out of the system. So that's nice, like if you uh, had a, a B, Airbnb and you wanted to give somebody access for a couple of days, this would be ideal for it. Or if you have a studio like this one and you've rented it to a photographer who's just gonna come in for that afternoon, but you can't be there. You just let them come in themselves. So there's that. And then here is my favorite part. Where is it? No, it isn't here. Okay. This is... Wait a minute, that's not my favorite part. That's a tumbler. I wanted the actual keys. I was going to show you keys. They must be in here. Okay. So, you have good old-fashioned keys in case you get locked out. Or, if you're really high-tech and fancy, you have these little digital smart keys. You just hold them to the front of the lock, and it lets you in. So, that's everything for the lock. Once I've had a chance to use it here at the studio for a while, I might do another review and tell you, tell you what I think of it in actual practice. But, uh, it's a pretty clever design. I also want to see how long, because I use rechargeable batteries here, I just buy the long life ones off of Amazon that are, they're inexpensive and I found that they pretty much last the best for me. So I also want to learn how long fully charged batteries last in the lock. So like I said, we may get back to this one, but for the meantime, I'm pretty impressed with everything it comes with. So until next time, keep building stuff. See you later.